Ah, no. Seriously, I've lost four flies in the last freaking 20 meters of river. Absolute bloody joke. And spook the fish. Peace off. <laughs> Woo. Having fun. Wait. Oh, I had. Oh my god. He ate it. And he's kind of spooked. He's kind of like, yeah, that was weird. Because I'm pretty sure I ate something. Jesus. Might have set the hook too quickly, but I've got a, um, a red tag on and. As we all know, they're the worst fly in the world because <laughs> they sink. And that fish ate it when it was sinking. You know, good thing the water is nice and clear. But that was annoying. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Mate, that was your fault. There he is. Took a little hopper. <laughs> he wanted that one. <laughs> cool. On the little hopper. There he is. Little fish. Hopper in his mouth. Lovely. He really wanted that. So cool. Right under this big rock on the right, there's your fish. Sitting in the shadow. But I can see him. Oh, so no way. So. <laughs> There are two fish. <laughs> one came, the one that I was targeting charged over, but another one took it and I kind of got neither of them. <laughs> oh god, that's annoying. I reckon they've kind of spooked each other as well. I can just see one. Yeah, there's still one there. Nah, not gonna eat it. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> that was pretty epic and I won't show up on the camera, but there was your fish here at the bottom of that big rock. I was looking at the one on the right and I can still see him, but he's spooked now. And anyway, my cast went kind of in the middle. They sort of had a bit of a fight over it and I would have thought one of them ate it. I'm pretty sure one of them did eat it. But. Empty handed. There's a big fish and a smaller fish. Three fish.
This is the smaller one. Oops. <laughs> there he is. I'm gonna chuck him down there so he doesn't spook the other fish. There you go, so he's downstream. He definitely spooked his uh, sidekick smaller fish, but hopefully these bigger fish still wanting to eat a fly. Might be a little bit hopeful, I reckon, but here he's over on the far side. Oh, there he is. Oh. Oh, he's so big. Oh, he, ah, uh, what happened? He came straight up to it and then spooked, I think. It just twitched the wrong way. Oh, I don't reckon he's coming back from that. Such a nice fish though. And exactly where you think a nice fish would sit. A deeper hole in the river. On the far side there. I reckon he's gone. All right. So if you remember this spot on the way back down the river. Good stuff. Got him. Yes, oi. Nicer model. Whoa. Yeah, he's a good fish. Stay in the pool. He's a really good fish. Just saw him sitting in the shadow of that rock. Yeah, nice. Look at that. Oh, he's got a chunk out of his tail. He's a good fish. I'll get a photo of him and put him back. Oh, what? Seriously, perfect eat, perfect cast, perfectly stuffed up. Oh, there's a fish there. 
Yeah, dickhead. <laughs> Pulled it away from him. Oh, oh, mate. He absolutely annihilated that. So, what's going on <laughs> is that I've uh, fished this tiny little absolute trickle of a thing two days ago. Then, all of last night, it absolutely poured with rain and it's now four times <laughs> more water coming down it and it's coloured up a little bit and I'm chucking a massive grasshopper <laughs> around trying to uh, attempt some fish and we just had, I pulled it away from a fish just there, I saw the flash just there as I was li lifting the rod and then it got an eight uh, which didn't connect but uh, this is quite a big fly and a lot of the fish in here are little. I caught a few fish the other day, a couple of days ago. Um, but there are plenty of good sized fish and the number of fish overall in here is quite good. Quite a high number so I thought a bit of colour and a bit more water is going to do this a lot of good and, and so far I've had a couple of hits. I'll go up find the next little pool. Got him. Whoa. Awesome. There you go, straight back to the original grasshopper and uh, big splash on the surface as the hopper lands and that is such a nice fish. Look at those markings. That is what you want for these tiny little waterways. Not a bad size for such a tiny creek. I reckon that'd be a bit bigger than that, some of them. Off you go, buddy. Oh, so cool. Right on the absolute top of that pool. This fish was just waiting, ready to ambush anything that came down there. Got him. Yeah. Such a great tiny little pocket water. Perfect spot for a nice little fish. It's actually a decent size. Oop. In the net. Fly well, came out. That's perfect. Helps me. Look at that, out of nothingness, really. Got that tiny pocket water, not something you'd want to walk past when you've got a fish like that occupying it. Real nice, real nice colours. You've gone the wrong way. You beached yourself. Go back. Oh, there you go. And it looks like we've got a nice pool coming up. It's always worth a couple of casts where you've got some um, nice. <laughs> you've got a shame of water like that. It's just got fish all over it. Have a look at this one.
Nice, nice, nice fish. Beautiful markings. There he is. Thank you, buddy. Look at him go. Yeah, so you can see the bubble line going down there. So that bubble line is indicating where the seam is. You've got water coming from there and coming from there. And it creates that little holding area because as those currents combine, basically they kind of push against each other. So a fish can sit right there without using too much energy. And that's effectively right where that fish was. So it's always worth having a quick look uh, at a seam like that. No matter how small the bit of water is, Worth a squeeze. 